I don't know what life would be like if I wasn't making stuff. It's not a choice. It just feels so good to make something that gets used on a daily basis in my life. Growing up in San Francisco with the wild environment that was the day, we didn't have a lot of money, but we had a lot of creativity and a lot of inspiration around us. There wasn't really a term for eco or green, but there was a sense of sustainability. From the very beginning, I always had it modeled that you can do whatever you want, all you need are your hands, and you don't need a lot of money to make a space a beautiful home. It fed this whole notion of, oh, you can do anything. And so I really do believe that. I see a lot of opportunity in everyday objects. They can turn into anything. One of my favorite things is looking at something, literally turning it inside out, and seeing what it could transform into. Every material can do something special. It's got its own little gift. When you honor the material and really look at its worth, it's hard not to pull out what makes it beautiful. For my kids, it's second nature to take their banana peel and put it in a the compost. They've grown up with not throwing things away. Reuse is just second nature to us. Part of it is making sure that we're not filling up the landfills, but another part of it is that everything we need, we already have. I think that the word mistake has a lot of negative connotations to begin with. It can stymie anyone. This need to have something be perfect and the concern that it's not gonna turn out the way they had expected. It's not that I'm not susceptible to feeling like, oh, that didn't turn out. But I try to reframe it as much as I can. There's that moment, oh, it's not what I thought it was gonna be. I'm kind of breathing into it and saying, well, what is it telling me? Is it really a mistake? It's not a mistake. What can it be? And that's exciting. I think it's really important for us to empower little girls and the little girl that's inside all of us. We can do whatever we want, because that's not a message that was handed to us in the same way that it was handed to boys. There's nothing that's gonna stop us. 